Hello everyone. Welcome back to Leverage IELTS brought to you by Leverage Edu, your trusted study abroad expert. In this video, you'll see a band 8 plus IELTS interview. Please note the assessment shown on the screen so that you can follow those tips and tricks and do well in your test too. So, let's get started. What kind of a property do you live in? Well, it's an independent house with two stories. My family and I usually stay on the first floor while the other one is to, you know, just entertain guests. What's more is that there's a very pretty garden outside the house and a parking lot behind. So, it's very comfortable living there. Who do you live with? So, I have a small family of four. There's me, of course, and then there's my elder brother who's 30 years old and much smarter than me, unfortunately. And then I have my parents who are in their late 50s. Uh, actually, my grandparents also stayed with us for a while during the pandemic, but not anymore. Is there anything about your house you'd like to change? Uh, well, to be honest, it's pretty great where I live. It's quite spacious and beautiful. So nothing much, probably except uh, adding an extra room just for entertainment, including a, let's say, a PlayStation or a huge TV for movies. If I could get that, then that'd be great. Do you enjoy traveling? Ah, I really love it without a doubt. I don't have many opportunities to do so though. So you know, uh, as a student, I am not able to gather time or money, but I manage somehow. Like last summer, I traveled to Kashmir with my cousins, and I must say it was a great weekend getaway. If you could go to any foreign country for a holiday, where would you go? Wow. Ah, uh, well. I'd want to visit the states. It's a massive country with a lot to see. I'd like to go to New York, um, Statue of Liberty, visit Times Square, Wall Street, shop on the Fifth Avenue. I mean, I know it's funny how I haven't been there, uh, yet I know so much about it. It's all thanks to books and movies that I'm hooked to. So yeah, I mean, um, US is one country that I'd really like to visit. So I'd like to talk about Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is a book I finished reading just recently. Um, this book actually is a part of a popular fantasy series meant for children, uh, but I was quite taken by the film, so I decided to give it a shot. I'm not usually interested in fantasy books, but the characters and the story, um, you know, are really interesting and fun to read about. So that got me hooked. I got it from the local library after I finished reading the last book in the series a few weeks back. Uh, this one is fairly long, I must tell you. So it took me a fortnight to finish reading it. Actually, I just love how the plot is woven, and you know the magic element is the highlight for me. I mean, it's just fantastic. It's like living my own fantasy where people could fly and have potions for different activities. And and you know what, um, strong friendship and bond between characters was also something that appealed to me. I like the twists and turns and you know cliffhangers that the story carried. In the future, also I you know plan to read every book in the Harry Potter series because I'd like to know what happens next. I haven't seen all the movies yet. What's more is that I've noticed my English vocabulary too has also improved somewhat, so I feel uh, motivated to keep on reading. And uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is a great book to practice English also, so I would suggest and has an entertaining story. Uh, in fact, I've also recommended it to my friends who haven't seen the movie or read the book yet. Soon, hopefully, I'll start reading the next book in the series as soon as I can. Do you think people read more nowadays? <laughs> I think it's tough to say, but uh, all in all, uh, I would guess that people today read less than they used to in the past. Take someone uh, like my mom, for example. In the past, she was an avid reader and would finish at least a few books every week. Can you imagine? These days, she still reads occasionally, but uh, with all of these great TV shows available to stream instantly, she actually spends a lot more time watching TV. So I think people today read less because this, you know, this availability, this huge availability of, uh, you know, movies and TV series available. I adjust a click of a button, I guess. So yeah, that's what I feel. Do you read before going to bed? 
I if I do read I it's usually you know when I'm trying to pass the time uh, like on the train or in the car I rarely just read at home because you know I actually spend quite a bit of time on my computer or in the college like I mentioned I don't get much time and if I do read before bed I get sleepy I guess that's a good thing probably but uh, I usually end up you know falling asleep with the book on my face which is not a pleasant sight actually when I wake up uh, and later because you know I have to reread the whole thing because I was too tired to finish it the first time that's why I hardly don't you know try to catch up on my reading uh, while I'm on my bed but any time during the day in your opinion how will ebooks affect paper books i think the rising popularity of ebooks has already uh, begun to affect paper books in a lot of ways actually uh, one way is you know off the top of my head uh, book sales which has dropped steadily over the past few years and will likely i guess to continue to do so in the future Another way that e-books affect paper books I think is that some authors are now you know choosing to publish their books online which means even fewer books are published on the paper these days so overall e-books uh, definitely would you know affect books by making them less important and availability will be also hindered so that was all about a band 8 plus speaking interview We'll come back with more interviews so that you can see what you should do and what you should not. Stay tuned for more content and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to make sure you are notified of all our upcoming videos.